the guys so welcome everyone welcome to sadaiva classes as usual and in every year we are going to take your spoken english batch so every year apply batch offline as then but this year due to this covid 19 we are taking your english speaking or spoken english classes online so today is your day 22 as well as day 22 so uh so as you know that uh, we are taking each and every grammar from standard 5 up to 10 okay and day by day your grammar as well as your study is becoming a little bit difficult okay so let's begin with today's session now okay in the first session we have uh, talked about very season okay so everyone of you talks on this topic every day we are taking a topic kadhi mujhe raun lagta hai but don't worry we are almost taking the topic next we are going to learn about finite verb and infinite or non finite verbs so grammar is important to understand any language okay so what are finite and non finite verbs verbs are you know very well they are the action words they can be finite or non finite let's read some of the sentences below and will and focus on the verbs focus on the verbs i play football so plays your verb he plays football plays verb they play football manish plays football right now we notice that the verb play the verb play changes with person i play they play he plays manish plays so first second and third are singular singular or plural so when the use of a verb is limited by the person or number of the noun or pronoun in the subject we call it as finite verb get it see he she it he she it as well to we take place but i they you we so we take as so as it naturally play a verb therefore this types of verbs are known as finite verbs they are known as finite verbs <laughs> the what are non finite verbs guys what are non finite verbs let's see now we have also given some questions or some sentences let's see here i like to play football he likes to play football me underline kar chalo verb la they like playing football manish likes to play football in the sentences about the verb to play or playing do not change or take s or es after them even when we change the person or number yeah. change so this types of verbs are known as non finite verbs okay so verb or verb plus ing two plus verb verb plus ing verb plus en verb plus ed having plus verb plus en ed are not limited to their or by their subject they are called as non finite verbs is the part i thoda samjhe liya try to understand so take to say whether the following verbs are following verbs or underline verbs are the finite i ka non finite i Okay. So we have to find out whether the given verbs are finite or non. So we lack the confidence to see ourselves as developed nation. 
if you see here the first one is finite to see is your non finite and developed is also non finite we stand first introducing many so it is your non finite ing form and it is your finite form i want to live in a developed india so i want i want is your finite because it changes with your subject to live is your non finite we prefer buying imported things prefer is your finite verb and buying is your non finite then indians never try to force their way of life on other so to force is non finite verb having invaded india they captured a land so it is also non रीजन फॉर इज फेलियर this is exactly why he has failed if you see this sentence says then also guys sentence baga pay careful attention to my words pay careful attention to what i say after finishing his work he went home he finished his work and went home so if you say the sentence says <coughs> A and B. जो उड़े के सेंटेंस दे A and B दे आर ऑफ सेम मीनिंग. So you'll notice that all underlying groups of words in sentences A merely refer to a concept or expression. They do not contain a subject or main principle. Okay, they do not contain a subject or main principle. Therefore, they are known as phrase. Phrase अनेक clauses में पर संगीत के लिए repetition है तो मतलब phrase है. So phrase do not have a subject or a main or a principal verb. whereas clause has principal or main verb or subject okay repetition hai tamo jasto ghet nahi ek chadi ke video baga you will come to it now what are the words homophone mujhe kaas se baga what are the homophones homophones are the words that sound the same but differ in the spelling and meaning उच्चार सारा स्पेलिंग वेग अर्थ वेग जस बग्जाम्पल है बी सो डब्ल्यू के इट इज ऑल्सो वीक बट फर्स्ट वीक का अर्थ का होता अशक्त ओके सेकेंड वीक का अर्थ होता आठवड़ा दैट इज द डिफरस दोगों जो प्रोनाउंसिएशन है साउंड साउंड सेम प्रोनाउंसिएशन उच्चार सारा है बाकी जो उत्तर तुम्हें पाठ जमते का बह फास्ट so next you have there so there the tumhara the there p h e r e there view view b l u e view c c as the very same difference here pratyek ka arth karega read or read this is the read read red west W A I S T West. See, first West is मुझे क्या बोलना पड़ता है? Violin and West ये मुझे क्या है? Cumber. No sir, no इतना. Not, not sir, not इतना. And not in not. Pronunciation is same because K is silent here. K is here also silent. Three. Three. Two or three. <laughs> then right sir right okay so these are the homophones so far it's very interesting guys me tumhara pratyek gosht ghetoy grammar madhe each and every part of grammar we are taking so you will not be having any difficulty in your future then what are infinitives guys in a sentence i have to study 
I have to study and I must study. Study is the infinitive form. Study is what? It is the infinitive form because it does not take S, T, S, T, D after it, even if the number of persons of the subject changes. Getting? So, infinitives are generally preceded or preceded by two or sometimes by a model auxiliary. Okay? So, if you are asked, if you are given a sentence, I have to study, you are, I must study. And if you are asked to find the infinitive, then you must say the infinitive guide is means sum with the price. Is that next? What are the participles? In a sentence, she dived into swimming pool and the writing table is in a mess. Swimming and writing are the verb plus ing form and the function, they function as adjectives. Therefore, these are known as present participles. Okay. But no, swimming, pool, writing table, they act as adjectives. They act as adjectives. What is adjective? Vishashan I, it's a part of speech. Tumala already me third, second, third, fourth lecture was already. And upper at the 20, third lecture was Okay. So the police recovered the stolen jewels. So here, stolen is what? It is stolen or the heat bandage is bruised down. They are the participants. They are the participants. Okay. Next. Okay, what is Gerald? See, what is general? Uh, if you see, you have already said that up to day 15, up to day 15, whatever we have taken, up to day 15, whatever we have taken, uh, was uh, or is important for everyone actually, but just as the importance, I, it is up to standard 7 or standard 8, right? And after that, beyond the lectures, uh, beyond the day 15, start after 16, is very much important for standard 8, standard 9, standard 10, even standard 11, and even standard 12. Get it? Because you question the question of the question of the first of the question of the question of the question the Online paper tada. So you will have the question, you will be given the sentence. I love swimming or reading is a good habit, and you will be asked underline the gerund. So verb plus ing form function as noun as a subject or object, therefore it is called as gerund or verbal noun. So here swimming is your gerund. It is also called as verbal noun. Reading is also verbal noun or gerund. So what is swimming guys? Swimming plus ing. Swim plus ing. Right? Swim plus ing. Swim is your verb and ing is your ing. Reading plus ing. Read plus ing. Read plus ing. Sorry, I forgot. Actually, I have a problem because I'm using laptop and I do not have the pen. Finally, last thing to uh, understand today is homophones, magashi bailapan, heteronyms, and homographs. Just a minute. Give me a minute. Sorry guys, so there are many disturbances. Homophones, just now we have seen homophones. Homophones are the words which sound the same but have different spellings <coughs> and meaning. The spellings and meaning, that's all right, right? We have already seen many examples. They are called as homophones. Then you have heteronyms. What are heteronyms, guys? Color. Mute your sound, everybody. Please, Manas. We are recording sessions for you only. Find words which have the same spelling but 
can have different pronunciation, right? Read. Read can be pronounced as read or as read. Akshadya, as read or read. Tomorrow my dear sir, read in present tense. Read in past tense. Okay, Akshadya. So read and read. So read in present tense. It can be pronounced. So ucha pras read. But whenever it is in the past tense, it is pronounced as read. Therefore. These types of words are known as heteronyms. They are known as heteronyms. So most the good. Next you have homographs. See, he just said that now. Tomorrow, for a part, only Sanjana is here. Nobody is going to take this because me, I get tomorrow only Sanjana. I have taken the uh, your study from standard five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten. So my guy, part I have. And they are now also from English medium as well as Marathi or same medium. Now, pratyek ka tap best, and each and every type of grammar I have taken, and you won't find it in a single book or single video or single slide. Tamil Tamala place. I'm really uh, requesting you to write and be prepared with your own grammar book. That to be that a party service to you must know. That's it. So, what are homographs, guys? These are the words that spell the same, sound the same, but have different meanings in different contexts. Example: light. Light can mean not heavy. It can also mean bright. What again? Light. What am I talking about? The light. Light is the word. What do we have? The light means dark. That means not heavy. And light is also used as a brightness. For our half shabda, the upper half shabda, we have electric scale as the light mode. When we, uh, when we do not have electric, when we have, uh, we do not have electric connection. Upper half shabda means that the light is given. Okay, so light is also considered as brightness. It is also considered as heavy, according to different. Context. The thick because of which one. Light is a single word, but that is used in different. Uh, that has a different meaning in different contexts. Sound same I am spelling same I am. That is spell same has the uh, same sound. So what's that? Which also makes things visible. Okay, so they are called as homographs. Getting guys? Okay. So. We have uh, completed today's session. Now this is something uh, I haven't told you, but now I think must I must tell you. See, you must subscribe to our channel. Why? Because see, like that, Guru, no problem. Share that, Guru, no problem. But you share, uh, you subscribe. See, like and share. Karat Karan Kasma Santo. I must tell you, we have almost three thousand subscribers. We already have three thousand subscribers. Almost uh, two nine uh, five five almost four eight six I have heard. So that is not the problem. But the thing is that the novel video Java is so if you are subscribed, then what happens? You will directly have a notification regarding this. So do subscribe. I hope someone subscribe to us. Like Karan Nagar Guru is up to you guys and share Karan Nagar Guru is up to you. But I think you must share. With your friends and relatives, because also the best Malavata ni kuni yoga, ah, kumi vada, ani kumi paisha kuni thamala geeta sir. Anyways, 